same goes um, on Kusha, you know. The things you hate. Okay, my name is BB, and right about now, I like to believe I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> Why am I here? I'm here because I'm a resident host at Tarua. Um, been hosting for a while now. Tarua has been on for five years, and I've been a follower for five years. And um, Tarua is extremely close to my heart, and Tarua is home for me. Basically, that's why we're here. Um, Tarua, as you know, is five years old today. This is the fifth year and um, we were supposed to be having a fifth year anniversary but Basi Ikpi was coming in to Nigeria from America and we had to celebrate her so we moved um, the fifth anniversary to next month where we're going to be having that in September so we had to celebrate Basi tonight. You will continue but not now. Shame. I have a couple of rules before I start. First rule is everything I say is hilarious. <laughs> Unless it's touching, then you're free to, oh. okay? You, I'll let you guys decide which is which. Um, second is that I don't forget poems. I just decide that they're over. <laughs> so if I'm up here and I'm in the middle of a line, if I get four lines in, four words in, and I'm like, applaud, it's over. <laughs> Those four words, that's all you needed. My name is Basi Ikbi. I'm a poet, writer, and a mental health advocate. Uh, I just performed at Tarua. Um, I, I came from the States to, because I haven't been to Nigeria in, in 17 years, um, and I wanted to sort of see what the scene was here. I'm very interested in sort of bringing the stuff that I've been doing in the States to Nigeria. I performed a poem about my grandmother, um, about the language barrier that we have, and, and um, just, again, being uh, Nigerian by heart and by birth, but you know, being raised in America, therefore losing a lot of the Nigerian culture, especially the language um, of, of my people uh, in Ugep. Um, and I did a poem about childhood and, 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 and how difficult it is to sort of transition from, from how easy it was to be a kid and how that doesn't really translate much, um, but it could if you really thought about it. I, and I did a poem about Lauren Hill and I did a poem um, about depression. I think that's all I did, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up to a monologue called The Things I Hate is none other than the love. told to stay there. What do you know? You're just a woman. Don't take the cola not before a man. Don't drink shenanigans. It's a man's drink. I'm tired. I've been angry for a very, very long time. My name is Bola Hon. I'm a guitar teacher, artist, songwriter, singer, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'm here to just have fun in Tarawa. Incidentally, the, you know, the leader of Tarawa, you know, the convener of Tarawa, Lydia, I'd always known her younger brother, Bez. I'd known him over the years, but I never knew about her and Tarawa. We actually met on Facebook, and we shared information, and I, I started coming. I was like, my God, it's such a small world. Tarawa had always been here, and I never knew about it. So every now and then, I pop in, have fun. That's it. And gentlemen, please give it up for the one and only rock star in our midst, Bez! My name is Bez, Bez Idakula. I'm a musician here in Nigeria. Uh, I've been doing music for about five years, and uh, Tarwa has been a platform for me to launch my music career. I started playing the guitar when I was nine, ten, you know, and I kept on growing through secondary school, through university. And uh, after university, I, I, I met that my sister had started Tarwa, you know, so um, I sort of like just blended into it, you know, and then just sort of used that as a launch pad for my career. Yeah. 
So I put a little rock to this song. Astronomical dreams was crushed by your economical scheme. But comfortable life is what you were after. Yeah, I'm also fire, but not, not now. See, I have the future in my heart. How that sound? But you up in it. I know this one never meant to be. Cause I'm like the possibility of reality. So, baby, stop pretending. No, I see the light. I know that too. IBK, aka Spaceship Boy, and um, I'm here for the fifth anniversary of Tarua. This to me has been the best, you know, since my coming here, and I've been coming here like for over three years now, you know, and it's, it was awesome. Laughs, jokes, music, solid poetry was beautiful. Yeah, man, he, he actually, I, I, I didn't even know he was going to call me up, man. I almost missed my lines, but, you know, the mind worked fast, you know, and uh, yeah, it was, um, because um, I do stuff with Bez, you know, on the band and everything, and also I did my rap verse for the song, and yeah, had a great time on stage. My name's Elizabeth. I was invited by my friend. Um, yeah, so this is my first time being here. I've heard about it before, before I came to Nigeria, so I was looking forward to being here, and I was really, really, really impressed. And I got to see Bez perform live. <laughs> I'm like a big fan and everything, but yeah, it was really good. And um, I am, hopefully, when I come next month, I'll perform with my friend, hopefully, if I get the confidence to do it. Yo, remember the song we sang back in the days when we came? Still the song. Yeah, we're in the song. One, two, three. My name is Lydia Shabogun. I am the CEO of Baggy Child Entertainment and I run Tara. And I publish Tara magazine. Tara is an arts and, arts and culture gathering. So it's a gathering of artists, poets, whatever, mu musicians, singers, instrumentalists, whatever art it is that you do. It gives you a platform to express yourself and we've been doing it for five years. It just started as a gathering, it was something that we needed, like we just sat at home one evening and we, just, we were just like um, having Tara at home basically and we're like, oh, let's do it a little with a little bit with more people, maybe more people will be interested in, you know, and we came to Bogobiri and we asked them and they said yes, it's something we could do. So we invited some people on the first day we were just seven, you know, we just expressed ourselves and it grew from there. <laughs> 